What's going on guys, Kaiser here, and today we'll be taking a look at the G6 mobile gaming controller by GameSir. Now I picked this up because I've been playing a lot of Call of Duty mobile lately, and I'm not the biggest fan of the touchscreen controls, I prefer a more traditional controller layout. Now this controller uses Bluetooth 5.0, so that'll give you the most reliable connection and it reduces power usage, giving you a longer battery life. Now GameSir claims that this controller allows for up to 80 hours of runtime, and though I haven't tested this, I have been using this device for about 2 weeks and I haven't had to recharge it yet. This controller sports an all plastic build. Now it's not what I would consider a premium build, but it doesn't feel overly cheap either. The buttons are solid and have a pretty satisfying click. And up top you have 3 triggers. Now the analog stick is okay, but I do wish it was a bit grippier, but considering the price, you really can't complain much. On the bottom you have a micro USB charging connection and the power button. And on the rear you have a couple of rubberized non-slip grip pads for added grip. Now currently this device is only compatible with iPhones running iOS 9.0 or later, so not being able to use this with Android devices is definitely a con for me. Now I don't know if this is something they'll address in the future, but they definitely should. Now this device does a good job holding the phone in place, and I also like that it doesn't block the charging port and it has cutouts for the speakers. To get this running, you'll need to download the G Crux app. Next you'll need to hold the Y and power button to pair the controller. Once inside the app, you can run the key test to ensure that the buttons are working properly. Now this app is already pre-configured for Call of Duty and a couple of other games. Inside the app you can map the buttons by dragging them into place. Now overall I think that this is a really good value for what you get. The buttons are responsive and the device itself gives you that traditional controller feel. However, it's not perfect. I'd say about 95% of the time this device works as it should, but there is that 5% of the time when the buttons stop working. Now, although it only lasts about 3 seconds or so, when you're in the middle of a gunfight or you need that one kill to complete a streak, it definitely becomes frustrating. Now, thankfully the on-screen buttons still work when this happens, so you do have the option to use them when the controller freezes. However, it's still an issue, but hopefully it's something that can be fixed with a software update. But anyway, that's my review of the G6 mobile controller by GameSir. I'll leave a link in the description just in case you guys want to check this out. So until next time, peace.